everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and today I want to talk to you about Poison Ivy. Last week I had my first experience with Poison Ivy and let me tell you, I never want to have it again. So today I want to talk to you about what Poison Ivy is, show you what it looks like, and show you what it looks like whenever you get it on your skin, and some treatment options. So first let's talk about what Poison Ivy is. Poison Ivy is a three leaf plant and it grows in cool shaded areas. It contains a sap called Aruashal. Whenever Aruashal comes in contact with the skin, it, exhibits, it starts an immune response. The immune response can take anywhere from a few hours to two days. Now here you're going to see a picture of a Poison Ivy plant that's actually in my backyard. Now since you know what poison ivy looks like, let's talk about what happens when it comes into contact with your skin and the symptoms you could expect to get. Typically you will get some redness, it will be very itchy, it could have blisters, streaking, patches, or weeping a yellow liquid. What happened with mine was that I came into contact and later that night I noticed like two small bumps that were very, very itchy, but it looked like mosquito bumps. Then that next day, it started streaking up my arm into a linear form and it was weeping this yellow material and it was blistery. So I knew for sure it was not a mosquito bite. And here, let me show you some pictures of what it actually looked like on my skin. The first picture you'll see is a couple days after I had the poison ivy and I started treatment. And then the next picture, which is the last picture, is a week, week and a half of it actually healing. Notice how it's scabbing, but it's still red. Poison ivy can take anywhere from two to three weeks to fully heal, so give yourself some time. Also, poison ivy is not contagious. You're not going to spread it to other people. I know this from personal experience because from where my poison ivy was weeping, my husband had brushed up against my arm and he had got some of the oozy stuff on it. I know, gross, right? And he didn't get poison ivy, so it's not contagious. Now, let's talk about some treatments you can do. Before you start any type of treatment for poison ivy, always consult with your doctor. But here are some home remedies that people do. They do oatmeal paste um, or an oatmeal bath just to help with the itching, a baking soda paste, calamine lotion, that's that pink stuff. I don't know if you've ever had chicken pox that um, we used to use on people who had chicken pox a lot. You can get it at Walmart. Hydrocortisone cream. I tried this the first couple days. It did not work for me, but it may work for you. It took away some of the itching, but it was still weeping and it would weep through the hydrocortisone cream, so it wasn't that great. Because you want a product that's going to dry it up. Um, next, antihistamines. Always check with your doctor before you take any type of pills because it could interact with your medicine. But the antihistamines could help with the itching. Uh, Clear Lac, this is a little bottle of lotion that I got from Walmart. It helped me out so much. I put it on, it had a um, little pain relief agent in it, and it had an agent called zinc that dried it up, so it dried all the oozing up, and it helped it not itch or hurt. I love that stuff, stuff and I got it at Walmart. And also, there's a lot of products on the market that is for poison ivy relief that you could find. Um, and some other tips that you can do, I always recommend if you're having to reapply your lotions or redo um, your poison ivy medication, always take a warm rag with hot water and just hold it over the area and wash it with some soap and water. Try not to use any hard soaps that have a lot of antibacterial or alcohols in it because it may sting and hurt. And also watch out for infection. If you're having to work in the hospital because you're a nurse or you're having to be out in the community a lot around others, keep it protected from infection because you're definitely at risk for infections when you have an open wound like that. Even just working outside in your garden or something, you could get some type of germ or fungus in there. So always take care of that. So that's a little bit about poison ivy and what to do. And I hope you never get it. But if you do, now you know how to take care of it. And if you do have it, I hope you get fast relief. And thank you so much for watching this video. And please check out my other educational videos and subscribe to this YouTube channel.